So I want to do a quick little video describing uh, modifications I made to a CVS one-time use digital camcorder in order to make it into a homemade night vision device and I've been pretty impressed with the results. It works pretty well so far. Uh, I'm not going to go step by step on how to build it from the CVS camcorder. That would take way too long. Suffice to say these camcorders uh, they're all over the internet. You can buy them on the internet if you look hard enough. Lots of information out there on how to modify them so that you can see infrared, so that you can uh, download the videos from the camera onto your computer and such. First modification I made obviously was to remove the infrared filter out of the lens assembly which was probably one of the biggest pains in the butt. Turns out with the new newer uh, camcorders there's a large uh, convex lens behind the infrared filter which after I tore out and subsequently destroyed I got to the infrared filter and was worried that it wouldn't work at all but as it turns out it still works just fine. I also cut off the battery pack on the bottom here, installed uh, two AA battery packs, one here, one here. This one holds two batteries, powers the camera itself. This one holds one battery, powers these eight infrared LEDs that I drilled holes for in the case here. These LEDs give off a very small amount of visible light, just a dim red light that you can't see more than a foot away. They're wired in parallel so that if one goes out they don't all go out. Um, I did install a toggle switch to turn the infrared LEDs on and off and as you can see you can actually see them on the camera there on and off. But to the naked eye you can't see anything at all so it's basically invisible. Put a little electrical tape plug here where that light normally would be when you're recording. Uh, you know, I glued all these wires down so it would be uh, sticking everywhere. I also uh, ripped out the guts of the speaker that was in here. Uh, there's a guy who did a very similar device to this online, just Google for CVS night vision. You'll find a guy who did a very similar device and actually kind of looks like me too, which is weird. Um, a few things he did differently was he, instead of putting the battery packs on the camera itself, he put them on the back of the head mounted device. He also installed a variable resistor to control the brightness of the screen, which is pretty bright when on normally. I didn't do that because number one, I couldn't find the tiny little resistor that controlled the screen and number two, I don't have confidence in my soldering ability enough to remove that tiny resistor and replace it with a variable resistor without destroying the entire camera. So what I'm going to do is just take like some uh, car window tint film and put it over here to uh, just darken it a little bit. Instead of putting a mute switch in it like he did, like I said, I just ripped the guts out of the speaker because I don't need it to work anyway. Uh, let's see what else. I think that's about all I've done to it so far. It has been a big pain in the butt in the making so far, but I'm really impressed with, with how well it works. Of course, you need to remove the sticker off the top so you can plug a cable in to uh, download it to, to your computer. You can get those on eBay or you can make them. Uh, something else that guy did online was he just uh, has a USB cable coming off the side here. I don't want to do that. I plan to leave this open, which he didn't. He For his head mount, he covered this port up. What I'm going to do is put a uh, steel plate on the front here so that that can be mounted to a, like a head harness device. And also a lens assembly needs to be mounted here so that you can hold it close to your face and still see everything. So other than the head mount and the lens assembly, this thing is basically completed. Uh, I'm going to show you in a minute some video I took around my apartment in pitch blackness. I don't have the cable yet to download the video to my computer, so I'm just going to take that camera and hold it up in front of this camera so you have to forgive the crappy quality. It didn't focus on the screen very well, but it is really good and, and actually works incredibly well for a, a $40 homemade night vision device. So thanks. So this is a quick video of how well the modified CVS camcorder performs in a pitch black room. Now, I don't yet have the cable to download the video directly to my computer, so I'm just going to use my regular camera to take a shot of the screen of the camcorder. So you'll have to forgive the, the crappy quality here. So let's power it up. And the focus is kind of crappy here, but you can see that 
you know, the range is actually really good. It illuminates the whole room here and you can see pretty good detail. Everything in the room. There's the dog there. And uh, computer desk. Going out into the kitchen. And it has a good range of at least 20 or 30 feet here. Sometimes it takes a little while to adjust the brightness. It's really hard to see on this camera. This is the bathroom here. But uh, yeah, I'm pretty impressed. And all I need now is the lens assembly and a head mount and it'll be pretty well functional.